Welcome to the Cop Shop Podcast, our weekly compilation of police report oddities and curiosities, with host, Telegraph reporter, Joe Kovac, Jr. He was at work when he got the text message. It was from his girlfriend who was texting to say she knew he was cheating on her. He said that he would handle it when he got to her house, this according to a Bibb County Sheriff's report of the May 18th episode. The report went on to say, when he arrived, he laid on the couch and she didn't seem out of the ordinary. The man, 44, said he was at her apartment on Chambers Cove Drive out in West Macon and didn't notice anything unusual until his girlfriend, 40, walked into the living room dressed for a night on the town. Quote, he asked what she was doing and she said she was going downtown and that he could go sleep with his other girl. The report went on to say that the man said he was leaving and when he did, the woman, quote, started grabbing his belongings and throwing them outside. Once all his stuff was outside, she poured bleach on his clothes, cut up several items with a knife, and threw his cell phone against the wall, breaking it, end quote. A sheriff's deputy asked the girlfriend about the dispute, and according to the officer's write-up, quote, she stated with a grin on her face that she put all his stuff outside with bleach. Her admission earned her a trip to jail. A 41-year-old mother in South Bibb County called the cops to her place on Skipper Road the evening of May 23rd. She wanted to tell them about a theft. Her daughter's $700 iPhone 7 was missing. Her daughter, whose age isn't noted in a sheriff's report of the matter, had been chatting on Facebook when someone in her group said he was selling marijuana. The daughter, according to the report, agreed to meet the guy at her apartment complex. The fellow arrived, the report said, quote, in a turquoise vehicle with a white door. The daughter said she got in the car's back seat to, quote, decrease the chances of being noticed. She said she gave the guy $20 only to learn that, quote, he did not have enough marijuana for that said. So she told him to, quote, just keep the money and got out. She began to walk off when the guy asked to use her phone to call a friend. She agreed, but held the phone as he used it until he rode off and yanked it from her grip. She said she used all her might to hold on to the phone, the report said, but the guy drove away. <laughs> And now from our dispatches files. A man making repairs at Forest Hill United Methodist Church in North Macon on May 17th was busy for about half an hour working on a side of the church away from where he had parked his Chevy Silverado pickup. When he walked back to his truck, it was gone, stolen. A Bibb County Sheriff's report said the man, 28, had left the keys in the ignition but, quote, thought it would be okay since he was working at a church. Overheard on Bibb Sheriff's Radio the afternoon of May 24th, a dispatcher's call about a man in a bright green turban going around asking people how much their cable bill is. And early one Sunday morning a few weeks ago, a woman reported that her 26-year-old brother was on O'Hara Drive North in Southwest Macon, quote, smoking synthetic marijuana and acting crazy. This according to a sheriff's report of the May 14th episode. It was Mother's Day and his mom said he had kicked in her door. Deputies pulled up and were told the brother was hiding behind a neighbor's house. When the officers found him, according to their report, he was, quote, standing behind a utility shed urinating. <laughs> <laughs>